Hi friends! This week we're making fish cakes, a delicious from scratch recipe using all fresh ingredients. In this short video, I share the simple recipe, techniques, and some versatile ways to serve up this dish. So please join me. We need the following ingredients, tilapia fillets, fish sauce, diced shallots, ground white pepper, baking powder, tapioca starch, and vegetable oil. Let's start by rinsing the tilapia fillets with cold water. To achieve the springy texture that is unique to these fish cakes, we must remember to keep the fish cold at all times. We never want the fish to reach room temperature as this yields a cake with a mushy texture. After rinsing, pat the fillets dry with some paper towels. Next, we cut the fish into small pieces. The pieces don't have to be super small. We'll use the food processor later to grind up the fish. To marinate the fish, we add diced shallots, and a moderate amount of fish sauce. Let's mix everything together really well and make sure the fish sauce is evenly distributed. Transfer the fish into a baking pan or large plate. And then let's spread out the fish forming a thin and even layer. Again, we work quickly so the fish doesn't have a chance to get warm. Place the pan in the freezer and chill for one and a half to two hours until the fish is frosty, but not frozen. What we're trying to achieve is a well-chilled fish. The fish pieces are stuck together, but not frozen solid. Transfer the fish into a food processor. Add the ground white pepper, baking powder, tapioca starch, and vegetable oil. Now we pulse the fish for a few seconds at a time. After every 20 pulses, scrape around the bowl and then give it a quick stir. The reason we pulse instead of process continuously is so that we don't overwork the fish and get it warm. This approach will take a little bit longer but will ensure the fish cakes have a nice springy texture. While processing, the fish should remain ice cold. Once we achieve a nice smooth paste like this, we can stop processing. Brush a little bit of vegetable oil onto a piece of plastic wrap. Scoop out one quarter of the fish paste. Using the plastic wrap, press the fish paste firmly, shaping it into a ball. Now we just press down on it to form a little patty. After making all four fish cakes, we return to the freezer and chill for 20 minutes. The traditional way for cooking these cakes is to deep fry them. Heat the oil over medium high heat until it reaches 350 degrees and then turn the heat down to low. Add the fish cake and deep fry for 10 to 12 minutes. Flip the cake a few times to make sure it's nice and golden brown. Once done, place the fish cake on a paper towel to blot the excess oil. To enjoy, simply cut the fish cake into thin slices and serve with your favorite dishes. Not a fan of deep frying? We can also steam the fish cakes. Steam on medium heat for 10 to 12 minutes. Another great recipe option is to make fish balls. Quick tip, oiling our hands will help prevent the fish paste from sticking to our palms. Steam the fish balls for six to seven minutes. Another healthy alternative is to bake the fish cakes. Brush the cakes with oil and then bake at 400 degrees for 25 minutes. Flip the cakes halfway through so they brown evenly. Just an FYI, the baked cakes have a tendency to deflate once they cool. They will still taste great, but don't be surprised if they're just a little bit wrinkly. The fish balls can be served as an appetizer with your favorite dipping sauce, or added to a simple broth and served as a soup. My favorite way to enjoy the fish cakes is to serve them with these thick noodles. Stay tuned, in an upcoming video I'll share the recipe. Hi, I hope you've enjoyed this easy how-to video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post below. For full recipes, check out runawayrice.com. I work on new recipes each week, so please subscribe to my channel to stay tuned. This is Trang wishing you good eating and good health. Thanks for watching.